All right, people. I believe everybody is doing great, nice, and absolutely fine. Welcome to an academy in English. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button as soon as possible. Now, in this particular video, it's mentioned over here how to guess the options in physics. Okay, this is the Tukka strategy, or I would say this is the scientific guessing strategy. Previously, Vasim sir has made in the chemistry portion. I will be discussing in the physics portion what strategy, guessing strategy you can use. in your upcoming needs so that it can boost your score okay now listen to me very carefully there is a disclaimer what is that you are not supposed to use this particular strategy in the entire paper because then it will be disaster okay so you have to use it only in those questions which you were not able to solve in the paper okay only for those questions there are certain rules there are different types of questions in which you have to use different methods so that you can basically so guess the correct option so that you can maximize your score in the neat 2024 and let me just tell you there are toppers out there those students know these these strategies already and that's the reason i am telling you over here so that you can also boost your score and and most importantly my dear friends see we we use these methods only at that point of time when we are done with our paper okay but still there are some questions which we were not able to solve maybe because of when we go into the examination hall tomorrow we see there are so many questions out there okay competition is very high now i am not able to solve this question but previously even even though you had read the complete syllabus you have completed the whole syllabus still you were not able to solve some questions in those questions also you can use this particular strategy okay so let's get into the video make sure you like this particular session and before this let me tell you something my dear friends what is that that is nothing but tomorrow we have a session that's coming up on the channel that is top 1000 questions okay of pcb and you can expect 100 questions in your need 2024 from this particular session so i don't want you guys to miss out this particular session at any cost okay go on to the channel like this session over here okay as soon as possible and most importantly after this session there is one more session that is my session coming up on the channel that is all high weightage chapters that is speed revision okay this is the speed revision all high weightage chapters and this is for ultra legends only okay so we say save physics if you want to boost your marks save physics 120 plus marks with this session only we'll be revising all those high weightage chapters okay which are important for your need 2024 now let's get into the video let's not waste your further time okay so the first one over here is we say scientifically proven guessing strategy okay the first one is see if you get a question of this sort this is what we call the extreme values okay what does extreme values mean let's suppose we have a question over here let me read the question a ball is thrown vertically upwards with the initial velocity of 20 m per second neglecting air resistance what is the maximum height reached by the ball okay we are supposed to find the maximum height now let's suppose we couldn't solve this particular question we forgot the formula or something like that okay so we, you can take a look at the options over here when it comes to the option a you have 0.5 and option d you have 100 so these are what we call the extreme values 0.5 and 100 are very far from each other okay they are at very extremes okay and when it comes to the option b and option c we say they are somehow close to each other we say b and c so in this case we neglect these extreme values okay because in 75 to 80% of the cases it has been proven that it has been seen that these extreme values are incorrect or so you have to choose your correct option in the though in those options which are close to each other so here option c is correct that is 20.4 meters okay so this is the example of extreme values this you can apply in many questions as i am telling you sir sir is this 100% working i say we are guessing over here in maximum number of questions this has been proved it is correct okay so that's the reason i am telling you over here okay and then you get the 50 50% chances which one is correct that you have to apply over here okay this is a guessing strategy you cannot be 100% sure now next next we have the longest option okay and and let me just tell you one thing 
if you are able to solve any particular question, let's suppose you are able to solve this question, then I do not recommend you to use this particular strategy, okay? Then you have to solve it, that is recommended, and get the answer of the question. Then you have the longest option example, like you have got a question over here, okay? This is the question, okay? Now, my dear friends, in this particular question, you have got the four options, one, two, three, four. It has been seen that the option which is longer than the previous three options is we say correct, okay? Maximum chances are there that this option will be correct in this particular case. That is what we call the longest guessing, uh, longest uh, option example, okay? In many of the questions uh, also, it has been seen that, yes, this one will be the correct in this particular case also. Now, next over here is, my dear friends, what is that? That is elimination method. Sir, what is this element? This is a, a very uh, famous method. So, how you are supposed to basically go with this elimination method? Let's suppose you have got the option a, let's suppose uh, you have got option A, B, C, D in a question, okay? You don't know which one is correct. Now, but you have some conceptual clarity. Let's suppose this, this is on the concept friction. You have the idea about friction, static friction, kinetic friction, uh, and limiting friction. You have that idea. But you don't know the correct option in this one. What you are supposed to see, what will you do in this particular case? You'll basically check, let's suppose in this particular case, let's suppose option A is correct. We, but we don't know. What you are supposed to do is, you'll check for option D. You say, sir, I know option D cannot be correct in this case, so eliminate option D. Now, you will take a look at option C. So, we say, no, sir, 100% I know option C also cannot be correct in this case. Now, probability of these two being correct will increase. Now, you will use more information which is given in the question. So, now you say, sir, option A also I cannot, I can say is not correct. Then, what remains over here? Option A. So, then option A can be the correct in this particular case. Okay. So, this is C, C, C. In this particular example, we say there should be some conceptual clarity. You should have some knowledge of the particular concept then only you can use this method okay that's why we say toppers use this matter like like I'll, I'll read out the question over here a block of mass m is kept on a horizontal rough horizontal surface the coefficient of static friction between the block and the surface is mu a horizontal force f is applied on the block okay you have got a block over here a block is given okay and coefficient of friction between the block and the surface is given as mu and a horizontal force f is applied on this block it says that which of the following conditions is correct for the block to remain at rest so it is saying that even if you are applying the horizontal force the block should remain at rest what is the condition for that okay we say frictional force will act in the backward direction let's go in the option options over here we say sir option d cannot be the correct f is less than mg doesn't make any sense okay f is equal to mu times of mg mu time we know sir frictional force is equal to mu times of n n is equal to mg so we say this is the condition when the block is about to move okay then you have got this over here sir if applied force we say sir this cannot be the option this cannot be the option so we say option b if applied force becomes greater than frictional force, then the block will move. We say, sir, this cannot be the option. So, you are eliminating the three options, so we can say option A can be the correct in this one. Next, next we have over here, that is, that is, we say all of the above, none of the above. So, we say 75% chances are there that all of the above are correct, okay? It has been seen that 75% chances are all of the above. And 15% chances are there that none of the above is correct, okay? So, if we take a look over here, this is the question from, we say, biology. So, in this particular case, you can see which of the following statements about mitochondria are correct. So, we can say option D, that is all of the above, okay? M maximum chances are there, this can be the correct. So, you can use definitely this strategy in order to boost your exam, but only in those questions which you are not able to solve, but you have this method, you can boost your marks. So thank you so much, guys. Make sure you like this particular video. And there are a lot of students who are saying that marathon part two, marathon part two, I will be teaching that also. But before that, I feel there are some, uh, some uh, we say sessions which are highly important at this point of time, which can boost your score. That's the reason I'm coming up with certain, uh, with uh, some, uh, we say, uh, sessions for a few days and then I will take part two also. Don't worry about that. So thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye. Make sure you like this video and comment over there.